Today I'm going to be teaching you about theme development in WordPress. If you've ever wanted to take a HTML page that you've already created along with its styling and its uh, scripts and then put it into uh, WordPress, today I'm going to show you how. Okay, let's get started. We can begin by starting to download WordPress. So in the interest of time, I've already done that. So I've downloaded WordPress. Okay. So then we can start by going into our WordPress. Okay. So we go go there. Okay. So we see there's a number of files. Okay. That's good. So now the first thing we need to do once we've downloaded WordPress is we need to set up our database. So what I'll do is I'll go into PHP MyAdmin or whatever tool you use. So then I'll go here, and we go create our database, tutorial db, okay, and create the database. Okay, database has been created, so now we can close here, and then, okay, and then now what we can do is we can go into the WordPress folder, okay, so now let's open the folder in our text editor, and I'll see there's a file called wp config sample.php now what this essentially does it gives basic settings for your wordpress wordpress installation so now we're going to need our database name so we named ours tutorial tutorial db okay. using root because this is a local server so that we don't have to worry about that and you can go like so, localhost is fine. Okay, now you'll see here authentication, unique keys, and salts. This is for authentication, it's for security purposes. So you go here and then you can help you generate the keys automatically. So you go to that URL that's in the file, just copy paste that code, and we just paste it in there. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to actually rename this file to not be sample anymore, just wpconfig.php. Save that. Okay. Now, on our server, we want to create a directory. Tutorial wp. Okay. And let's upload that. Okay, now once that is done, we can go to our browser. We can navigate to where we uploaded it. Now we have the installation screen. We can start by putting in our site title. So I'm going to call this tutorial website. Okay, my username, I'll be admin. It can be whatever you want. Admin is probably not the best. But um, again, because it's a local server, it doesn't matter. Okay, then the password, we're just going to use a very basic password. It doesn't matter. And then we can put in an email address. And then we don't don't allow search engines. It doesn't really matter again because it's a local host, but I'm just gonna deselect that. Okay, and then wait for it to install. Okay, so now we've logged in. Now what's this done is it automatically created a, uh, all the tables that we need in the database. So we can go into there, we can go admin, and then we can log in with our login details. Okay. So now we, once we're in, uh, WordPress is installed. Uh, we can actually have a look. We can go to Appearance and Themes. You can see WordPress comes with three, okay. so that's fine. So then, what we're going to need is for your, your theme to actually run, you need, for the very basics, you need two files. First of all, we need a style.css file. And then we also need a index.php file. So these are the very basics of the site. Okay. So then let's open this in the text editor. Okay. 
So now we have these two files. Now in the style.css <coughs> what we need to do is we need to give some information about our theme so that WordPress can actually recognize it and use it. So what we do is we go to the site here we go to uh, codex.wordpress.org forward slash theme development now this is a very good starting point. It's it essentially gives you all the basics on how to how to build your theme, and um, essentially what you need and how exactly you go about it. <coughs> and it will go through a bit more information than this tutorial will go through. Okay, so first we take we can take this code here. Now it's just a comment that actually we can use that WordPress can read and then it actually gives information about your theme. So first we can give it a name, so we can name it tutorial test or tutorial theme. You can give it whatever name. Theme URI, it's a unique identifier for your theme. So we can just go there. We can give this whatever URI we want. So we can go local forward slash tutorial it doesn't really matter, it's more of if you want to put it on the store or sell it or whatever. So the author would be me. And then the URI would be. Okay, obviously it's not a real URI, but you can just. And then this is just for a tutorial. Okay, that doesn't really matter. These tags, we don't really need any tags. So we can take those out. Okay, then, yeah, there's a few allowed tags. You would actually have to have a look at what tags you can actually use. Text domain. Let's go. Tutorial theme. Okay, so now we have our basics. <coughs> so let's go ahead and upload our theme upload okay so now we can go into our WordPress installation and refresh the themes page okay there we go our theme is now there now we can activate it so okay. what I'll do is I'll put over here is my original HTML <laughs> and here's my index.php so now what we want to try and do is we want to try and split things up uh, for code reuse <coughs> so we can actually reuse the code so like for example the all this here the navigation the body the header and that is all going to be on every page and so is the footer so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a header.php file okay and inside the header.php file we can actually copy over all this that one we want to repeat in the header.php file. Then we can create a footer.php file. And we can actually copy and paste all the footer information. So now here we actually have the header and footer separated into separate files. So now in the index.php file, <coughs> we want to actually ac have access to our to our header files. So we can use this instruction called get header and then actually put that in there and get footer. So now those are in there. Okay. So if we upload this now, let's just upload everything in here. Upload. Done. Okay. So now we can actually go and view our site. And there we can actually see the header information and all the foot information is there, all the the markup. But we you can see there's one problem here. The our style sheet is not included as well. Okay? So the problem is if we look here in the header.php file, we're actually using uh, a local reference. Uh, for the scripts and the and the link, okay. So what what we need to do is 
we need to actually include these. Now we need to do this um, in the correct way because um, we can't just, it's not ideal to use an absolute path obviously because every time you, you want to move your theme it, it's going to have a problem. So what we what we need to do is we need to actually we need to actually tell WordPress where we want to in, insert the the code and the 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 style sheet. So what we do is we make a PHP cat tag. And inside there we're going to put the code WP head. Okay, and then what we're going to do in the footer is we're going to do something similar. Just before the closing body tag, we're going to go PHP WP Okay. Now this just is because sometimes you want to you want to put scripts at the at the footer um, as well. So this essentially just tells WordPress where to actually put that. Okay. So now we have our WP head. Now we need to actually enqueue um, the scripts and the the style sheets. So what we need to do is we need to create a functions.php file. Now essentially a functions.php file is essentially all PHP functions that your theme needs. So let's go ahead and create that now. So we can go functions.php. Okay. So now we create make PHP. Okay. Now we need to actually get the code on how to enqueue this enqueue our code. So what we do is we can go to um, the codex again, codex.wordpress.org forward slash function script. Okay, now if you scroll down a little bit you'll see there's a code snippet here that says the proper way to enqueue scripts and styles. So we can just copy the copy paste that. Okay, so just copy paste that into our functions.php file and then essentially what happens is uh, we all the f the things that are included in this will be included in either the head or the footer, depending on what you did, what you specify. So now we want to put our style name here. So we're going to call it main style. Okay. This is just to differentiate them between one another. This also prevents um, things from being included multiple times. So um, try and use a unique name. So you can use get stylesheet.uri, but our um, our style sheet is not actually in the in that directory, so we're going to put use this get template directory URI. So this essentially gets our template directory. So we go there, we append it, well not append it, um, concatenate the strings of. So we're going to go forward slash CSS, and then our file is called style.css. Style.css. Okay, I'm just going to comment out quickly this here and then let's upload okay let's just refresh here okay let's upload let's see what happens okay there we go now our styles are included now so now we just need to include our script okay now at the moment our script is using if you have a look our script is jQuery now, WordPress actually includes jQuery by default, um, uh, but the only problem is jQuery is in um, it's in a compatibility mode. Essentially, it doesn't you you can't make use of this um, dollar sign here. So what you need to do is you need to use jQuery. Okay, this prevents any conflicts with other uh, JavaScript plugins. But um, what you could do is there's a number of ways that you could actually uh, fix this behavior in your specific script. So at the beginning of your script you can actually go var dollar sign equals jQuery. And then essentially what this will do is it will assign this to this object so while you're in your script you can actually use use that. Okay, now that works. So what we need to do is we need to actually enqueue our script. So here we're going to call it, just call it uh, basic script. Okay. 
So it is here, and it is 